Michael Flynn, has filed with the Department of Justice as a foreign agent for making more than $500,000 as a lobbyist, essentially, for Turkey. Your reaction to that, considering that, doesn't that mean, Mr. Vice President, that even if he didn't lie to you about what the Russian ambassador said or didn't say, that you would have had to fire him anyway? Well, let me say, hearing that story today was the first I heard of it. And um, I fully support the decision that President Trump made to ask for General Flynn's resignation. You're disappointed by the story? Uh, the first I heard of it, and um, I think it is, uh, it is an affirmation of uh, the president's decision to ask General Flynn to resign. First of all, uh, Brett Baer at Fox, I, I think, asks the question perfectly, right? He lays it out, lays it out accurately. Let me get your reaction to this, you know, basically saying, is this not a significant scandal involving General Flynn? How does Mike Pence respond to that? Just play that bit again. Well, let me say, hearing that story today was the first I heard of it. That was not actually the question you were asked. But nobody asked when you, when you heard of it. But twice, without being asked when he first heard of this, twice, Mike Pence volunteers that this is all news to him. Never heard this before. You're disappointed by the story. Uh, the first I heard of it. It is impossible that this is the first time Mike Pence has heard of it. It's impossible. Mike Pence was the head of the transition. While all of those news stories about Mike Flynn being on the Turkish government's payroll were breaking, he was the head of the transition when Mike Flynn was being vetted for the national security advisor job. He was the head of the transition when Congress formally notified the head of the transition that Mike Flynn appears to be on a foreign government's payroll. He was the head of the transition when Mike Flynn's personal lawyers came and told the head of the transition that Mike Flynn maybe needed to register as a foreign agent. And now Mike Pence's explanation for this whole story inexplicably is he's never heard any of well, this. Let me say, hearing that story today was the first I heard of it. That cannot be true. That cannot be true. That cannot be true. The Mike Flynn scandal in this White House, the inexplicable hiring of Flynn, the secret foreign ties of Flynn, the national security advisor to the president of the United States being forced out of that job just 24 days into the new administration because of his secret foreign ties and contact, all of it. The Mike Flynn matter is astonishing in its own right. But the Mike Flynn matter is also the Mike Pence matter. The vice president's behavior, his account of his own actions around Mike Flynn, they, these things just don't add up, and they never have. Vice President Pence tends to keep a low profile in this administration, but he really has made a number of blunt, direct, false statements related to the Trump-Russia investigation. He bluntly asserted that the Trump transition had not applied for a security clearance for Mike Flynn's son. They actually had applied for a security clearance for Mike Flynn's son. Mike Pence also bluntly, boldly asserted that James Comey was not fired for anything having to do with the Trump-Russia investigation. The president himself has admitted that is in fact, exactly why James Comey was fired. Mike Pence has bluntly asserted that there were no Trump campaign contacts with Russian officials during the campaign. That is not true. He has bluntly asserted that he had no idea that Mike Flynn had a paid relationship with any foreign country's government. That would seem to be impossible. Mike Pence formed a political action committee in May, which is an unusual thing for a vice president to do. That was May. In June, he hired an A-list private lawyer to represent him personally in the Russia probe. And then after weeks of speculation and reporting to the contrary and the vice president's office refusing to confirm one way or the other, eventually the vice president's private lawyer said that Mike Pence will not use that new PAC that he set up uh, as a vehicle to raise funds to cover his legal fees. But you know, he could if he wants to. The Mike Flynn story, the Mike Flynn story is unprecedented in American history. Honestly, it's incredible. <laughs> but it also is the vice president's story now. And unlike Mike Flynn, Mike Pence, of course, is still in office. Watch this space.